hello guys welcome back my youtube channel salesforce and so if you are new in this channel so you can subscribe my youtube channel salesforce and so today i'm going to show you like how to work on this selenium plus salesforce like uh, automation testing so how to do that in a salesforce so with the help of selenium tools we can check our functionality in salesforce is working or not so let's get started without any further delay so uh, you can see this i already logged in my personal op and uh, now it's time to uh, create a custom object so i already create one custom object under the you can see quick find search like as objects and here you can see like as objects like demo object and this demo object contain some few fields like as a number field like this is uh, first number like um, number and uh, this is second number and finally this is the result as it text okay so my intention is like uh, uh, i uh, i want to put like i will be put some number like as a 10 in first and 20 in second so it's a automatic uh, showing the result as a 30 in result field so how to do that so i'm already uh, created one workflow so with the help of workflow we can do that okay so let's open the workflow and just go down you can search in quick find like as a work uh, workflow rules you can see so with the help of this workflow rule so we can check this workflow rule with the help of selenium so selenium check the functionality like uh, this is uh, working properly or not okay so how to check this so first of all let me open this uh, workflow rule and this workflow rule is you can see here like the field update and the workflow action is field update just click this field update and i already have some formula okay like as uh, some first number plus second number so the, uh, this is coming from like uh, two number addition under the result field so under the result field uh, i want to put this addition okay so with automatically so with the help of workflow we can do that okay so let me activate this first so go to the workflow list and now activate this now okay so once you activated this so you have to go first of all like this three icon this is a menu and here you can see like add-on and themes just click this and plugins under the plugins you have to search like as a selenium okay selenium once you enter the selenium so it's uh, showing like a selenium id this one so i already added in uh, like as a browser extension part here you can see this one so i already added this thing okay like uh, just a second here you can see this one so i already added this thing okay so just let me check it's working in my workflow role or not okay so before that let me open my custom object like as a demo so in demo you cannot see any record so let me create one record like as a um, first, first like this one first okay and this is first number is 10 and 20 like that. 20 and just save it so you can see in a result field it's a automatically update like as a 30 right so we can say that the workflow rule is um, like as a given right uh, result so with the help of uh, selenium how to check this okay this is the simplest step you can check without selenium this one but um, my intention is how to check this thing all the functionality under the selenium okay so let me delete this record okay and uh, just go here and you can see this environment like as a sales for it doesn't have any record till now so let me activate this icon here you can see ase this is a selenium id and selenium id you can see different types of options like record a new test in new project open an existing project create the project close the selenium id right so uh, always uh, to create the fresh project once you are working in new testing part so always create this create a new project uh, i am giving this uh, project name as a demo just okay 
and here you can see this is new environment okay so yeah so this is new environment you can see and selenium id and first of all we need to put our base url like as a login dot salesforce.com okay so how to do that so we can do that uh, with the help of this like as a login dot salesforce.com right so just copy this url from here to here okay and just save it first of all not save it just uh, yeah you can save it for now and demo aside just save it yeah and here you can see small icon like as a record okay so let me click this record okay like as a record so it's open a new window okay and here you can see like selenium id is recording something like that so i want to put username and uh, password from here so how to put that so now uh, just copy my username from here to here okay and put the password i already pass uh, lo uh, putting the password here and just login after the login you can see uh, i successfully login okay and now it's time to create new record under the demo object so just click this demo okay and create new record okay so just like as a first and give first number like as a 10 second number as 20 and in result field do not uh, you you no do, do not need any to provide any number in this field okay so let me save it and here you can see like as a 30 right so let me stop the this uh, record like as a stop records so stop it and give your project uh, like as a test name like as a demo okay and save it save it yes override yeah so save it so it's time to check uh, this uh, selenium things under this environment it's working or not so just click this here you can see so it's a automatic showing these things automatically login on all the things you can see here okay now all these steps i already done these things so it's automatically happen here you can see like okay so let me check this uh, first name demo name if any demo name is available or not okay so now yeah so again let me create one more record like as a first okay so first already is happen okay so let me delete for this close this one and again i want to create these things so just delete this okay and now um, let me delete that project also like a demo this one because i missed something here so again let me click this icon and create new project like demo and okay and put uh, your url name base url name like a login with this one so just copy this and paste it here okay once you paste it here just save it save it and record this so it's open a new window here you can see so you have to put username so how to put the username so i already have this one so just put this username and password and login okay selenium is recording here you can see okay so after that i successfully logged in and now it's time to uh, check with uh, our records like as a demo so just click the demo create a new record uh, like as a test for this one test and click the first number 10 and second number 20 and just save it so i already saved it and you can see the 30 is coming now let me stop this step recording stop it 
to give like a demo any name you can put here and save it and save it yes and now it's time to check this so it's working or not yeah so it's a automatically script is running you can see this automatically script is running new test this one save it and here we go now our step is done right now okay so it's, it's time to check uh, this workflow is uh, properly uh, uh, running or we can see that properly working fine or not okay so how to check this so uh, let me create one command okay like as a assert assert test text this one and target is like let me select that target this one okay and value i want to check this value 30 is uh, available or not and save it save it yeah so let me create the debug logs and again execute this you can see all this tab is running now and under this you can see okay okay all the things now 10 30 and here we go as we want as our test is 30 as a green you can see all the tests is successfully done and no no failure and runs you can see okay okay all the result means our workflow rule is successfully run and no any error okay so let me deactivate that workflow rule okay so how to deactivate just go to the setup and check the workflow rule rules and deactivate it okay once you deactivate so it's not running automatically because uh, i expect some result in a result field like the first number second number addition but uh, workflow does, uh, doesn't provide these things right now okay so uh, it's failure automatically so how to check in selenium so again you have to execute this uh, script again this one okay and this script is running on you can see okay like that here you can see and now save it and once you save it no result is coming as a 30 so our uh, uh, workflow is failed so you can check under this uh, selenium part okay like that assert text 30 expect 30 here you can see the output X. assert text on id this one inner value 30 failed actual value is empty did not match 30 because i need 30 value but uh, it's automatic provide as a empty because uh, workflow rule uh, not run successfully we can say that so here you can see this is the way to check your testing things under the uh, salesforce with selenium so guys i hope you like this video so if you like this video please share comments like and uh, uh, subscribe my youtube channel i will be meet soon and next session okay see ya bye bye take care